What's going on? This is Omega the Boss. We're in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. I'm sitting right here with um, the first lady of Pac-Man ENT, Nita. How you doing today, Nita? I'm fine. You doing all right? Okay. Glad to be here with you. Um, so, where are you from? I'm from Washington, D.C. You from Washington, D.C.? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Now, when I first got here, um, I heard a couple of your tracks, and, you know, a couple of them, you know, they, they, they moved me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what's your inspiration behind your music? My inspiration is to always try to reach the people, especially women, because women don't have that many outlets to express themselves. Um, so, I just try to take daily, day to day things that that we feel as women and put in a song, write it down. Okay. And give a different perspective on different things that women feel. Mm -hmm. I wrote this song because I just wanted to write a love song. I don't know where it came from. I just wrote a love song. It goes like this. I'm writing you a love song. But I don't know where to start. I want you to take it and fold it. Place it in your heart. Never knew the love can be so sweet. The space inside of me. My knees get weak. Baby, I can't speak. Listen to me. So listen to your love song. Cause it took some time. I want to tell you how I'm feeling. The feeling is so fly, says you give me butterflies. They crawling inside of me, they running through my veins. I can't take this pain, no, no. So take me higher, higher than I ever been. And when I come down, I'm grabbing my pad and pen. I'm writing your love song. So basically, you're just giving a little bit of yourself and, you know, relating to other women out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can understand that. Um, so where would you say your drive comes from? Like, what is your drive? My drive, my drive comes from my mother. She always wanted to be a singer. So I, it, it doesn't matter what she's doing, she's always singing. It doesn't matter where she is. And seeing that growing up, I wanted to go further. Mm -hmm. And so that's what inspired me, my mom. Okay, so your mom's girl, huh? Don't say that. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, so what would you say your view on music is? Your own music. I think all music should have a meaning. If you want if you a writer, a producer, uh, you call yourself a lyricist. It doesn't matter what it is, always have a meaning to it. So when I write things, I, I try to make sure that it has a meaning on, on life. Whether it's in the bedroom, on the street, for your friends, for your homies, whatever the case may be. I just want it to have a meaning. If it don't have a meaning, I don't think it's music. Okay. All right. Um, if you had to describe yourself, how would you describe you? What would you say? Hmm. I would say diverse. I would describe myself a people's person. Don't cross me. <laughs> Don't cross me. That's a good. That's a big one. And I'm very, very, very loyal to what I do. If I say I'm gonna do it, I do it. Okay. And that's very important. Not a lot of loyalty in this world, so it's very important to have that. Stick with something and do it to the fullest. It's very important. All right. Well, um, it seems to be that uh. Pac-Man may have struck gold and, you know, getting you on the team because uh, you seem well-rounded. The music is hot, you know what I'm saying? I definitely was <laughs> sold when I heard that. So, you know, I wish you a lot of luck in your career. Okay. I'll be copping that first CD when you drop. Thank you very much. All right. All right. So, Mega the Boss, we out. <laughs>